So all Baltimore Ravens names have been buzzing a lot at the wide receiver position. And that's usually an annual thing. But this time it's been buzzing in a lot more positive light because, of course, weeks ago, which a lot of people have seen that they forgot about, the Ravens signed wide receiver Nelson Aguilar. I'm going to start calling him Aggie. So that's going to be my nickname for him for when he scored a touchdown. I'm going to say, let's go, Aggie. Y'all don't let me forget that. And then, of course, a little bit later, uh, they signed Odell Beckham Jr., so it's like, okay, all right, let's go. And then recently there's been all this news and speculation and rumors and whatnot about them potentially acquiring one DeAndre Hopkins. So that, that could be really nice. And then on top of all of that, Rashad Bateman, he like, you know what? Hey, I'm tired of them talking about everybody but me. Let me put out this video. Show them boys that I'm healthy. I'm getting right. I'm going to be ready real soon. So Rashad Bateman, he coming back soon too. So it's a, a beautiful thing about when you think about the potential of these Baltimore Ravens wide receiver, like a position that for so long has been a weakness for a long time. It's been a weakness. It could possibly, possibly be a strength. And I would love that. But anyway... Those are that those receivers are who's been talked about already. But the Baltimore Ravens are like, you know what? Let's give these fans something else to talk about. Let's bring in somebody else. And that was Tariq Black. Wide receiver, uh, formerly of the New York Jets, but wide receiver from Michigan. So he might have got put on by a certain hardball or whatnot, but hey, who knows? But it's all good. So welcome. To Tariq, welcome to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, what do we know about Tariq Black? Well, in the NFL, there's still a lot of unknowns. There's still a lot of to be determined uh, when it comes to his status in the NFL. The uh, reason I say that because when you look up his numbers, he just has just one catch for 10 yards um, in, in the regular season. That's the only numbers that he's gotten in the NFL thus far. Uh, but that could change in the future, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but he is... Big guy, big friend, 6'3". And when I watch, I tried to look up film. Um, the only thing I found was highlights, though. And y'all know I, I'm not really a big fan of just highlights because that only shows the good stuff. I want to see the good stuff, the bad stuff, everything in between. I like to see stuff during, like, a, a full game. Uh, when the ball's coming your way, when the ball's not coming your way. Are you blocking? Are you still running your routes? Are you giving up on plays? Are you playing through the whistle? What are you doing? That, that's, that's what I like to see, everything. Um, but we did see highlights. Oh, and but some highlights that I do like watching is my guy Simply, because you know Simply like that dude is he is the best man. He is literally the best at what he does, and I'm always proud of Simply. He be doing his thing. So any Ravens fans that want to want to look up highlights, you can go to Simply AS10. He'll he'll put you on, man. But anyway, um, with Tariq Black, uh, when he catches the ball. He catches it with his hands, which is great. And then I know that sounds so like, oh, I mean, that's what receivers are supposed to do, right? But he catches, catches the ball with his hands. Some catch it with their body. So even though it's something that you think is like, oh, that's so normal or whatever, not everybody does it. But as soon as he catches the ball, he tries to shoot up field quick. Like, so he, he is a, a quick receiver. Even for being 6'3", uh, he knows how to use his body well. And that's a good thing because uh, that can only help and it seemed as if in, at Michigan, seemed like he was a little bit of a deep threat, a, a bit, like here and there. Now, um, again, there's still a lot of unknowns about him, though. It's a lot of unknowns about him because uh, we talked about how in the pros so far, it's been a lot of unknowns as far as uh, his production and whatnot, because he only has one catch for 10 yards. But looking at his numbers in college, uh, we'll start in 2017. Um, in 2017 in Michigan, uh, he had 11 catches for 149 yards and one touchdown. Uh, then in 2018 in Michigan, he had four catches for 35 yards uh, and no touchdowns. And then in 2019, the numbers went up a little bit. He had 25 catches for 300, 323 yards and one touchdown. Um, so with him, uh, his catches, he, he averaged 2017, he averaged 13 and a half yards per reception. Uh, from, from those 11 receptions. Uh, 2018, he just averaged 8.8 .8 yards of reception. Uh, 2019, he averaged 12.9 yards of reception. And then in 2020, uh, when he played for Texas, uh, he had 10 catches for 240 yards. So he averaged 200, I mean, excuse me, he averaged 24 yards per reception. So when he does catch the ball, uh, it's going to be for a nice little chunk of yards, man. 
it's gonna be nice for a nice chunk. Um, but again, it, there's still it's limited. It's limited information on what we have about uh, Tariq Black. So I know, especially given the the limited information that we have already, um, given the limited uh, production that the Ravens have to look at, it's gonna be an uphill battle for him. Uh, it's gonna be really tough for him to make the Ravens roster, even if they don't get DeAndre Hopkins, which hopefully they do. But even if they don't get a DeAndre Hopkins, because there's still the draft, there's still the possibility of them drafting a receiver. Um, there's a possible, there's still maybe Demarcus Robinson. He could be a sort of safe post-draft option for the Baltimore Ravens at wide receiver. Um, you still got the guys on the practice squad. You got a Shamar Bridges. I think they, I think they brought Benjamin Victor back to the practice squad again too. Um, so he he's up against a lot, a lot. And then you got the guys that right now, based off of right now, they're locks to make the roster. Obviously, Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, Devin DuVernay. After that, that's it for me as far as locks. Those three are locks right now. With the Ravens' current situation and wide receiver, those three are locks at this moment. If they add somebody, then a couple of those could change. But I just I don't think James Prochet is a lock right now, and I don't think Tylen Wallace is a lock right now. I actually think Tylen Wallace has more of a chance to make the roster than a James Prochet. And again, that's not a diss to James Prochet at all. It's not based off of his ability. I think it's just based off of the Ravens. Just I think they just I think they they they've given up on him. I think they're done with James Prochet. And I say that based off of uh, last year based off of the lack of usage of James Prochet, even when receivers were going down, you still didn't see him. Even when receivers were hurt, you still didn't see him. Um, and then when he was out there, there was a lot of penalties and whatnot, and it just, it was rough, man. It, it was a really rough season for him, and it seemed like the Ravens were just like, nah, we, we, we're done. That's what it seemed like to me. Uh, but we'll see. But anyway, with, with, with Tariq, um, this, I, I think this is like a, just a signing for some depth for some training camp depth, for some OTAs depth, for some mini camp depth, for just for depth right now. So he got to use every opportunity that he gets, though, to make a, a big, as big of an impact as he possibly can. Because, again, like I said, he's up against a lot. Um, if he could possibly make an impact on somebody, uh, hey, sky's the limit because you just never know. You never know. All it takes is opportunity. We, we don't hear, hear so many stories over the years of different – undrafted free agents, different uh, undrafted rookies and whatnot, late round picks, guys that just, it seemed like, all right, man, this, this guy ain't got a shot. But they end up turning it into something. So we'll see what happens with him um, throughout training camp and all that, throughout OT, throughout all, all the, whole, the entire process, man. Um, and I think, I think the best bet for him, the, uh, I think right now, the, the, Probably what, what would be uh, the best option for him, or obviously the best option for him would be making a roster, but I think the best chance that he has at making uh, the Ravens team would be making the practice squad. Um, even in there, and like I said earlier, even that's, that's going to be tough because you have guys already on there who have been on the Ravens already, who have been on the practice squad already, who have been obviously in the NFL already, so they got a little more experience than you, especially with the familiar, familiarity that they have with the Ravens. So that's a leg up that they have on him. So, again, it's going to be really tough. But I am interested to see uh, how he works, man. So that should be fun to watch. But anyway, shout out to Tariq Black, TB. Welcome to the Ravens. And Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out. I hope y'all have a really great day.